so let's look right now on a convergence that we have it. You notice before I used a little bit of the color convert. So let's start from this. Colorizer is will take input as the um, high map, which is provided value from zero to one and convert to the color settings you have. This is currently I was using for the creating output mask, but you don't need to do this. So you can create a lot of ones. You can create as a desert and other effects. So you can apply take height map and use colorizer to apply it and create those colors inside the um, your terrain. So for example, we'll go output. Let's create a bitmap. Actually, you know what? Instead bitmap, we'll go and create overlay view. So in overlay view, we can go create input high field, a colorizer. And right here, you can see we applied some colorizations based on this. So we can do this other ways, but it's just a very fast way to see how it's well applied on terrain. And of course, we have it dirty and rocks. So we can apply it this way. And right here, you can preview what's created. This is normal height map. And this is applied with colorization. We have it. So overall, this uh, converter it's allowed us to create our own custom maps or preload it. So to create, of course, you can create one. You can use it key to delete it. Or if you click, you can create a new values. So let's create clear all. We can add new, readjust. Okay, we're gonna create a different type of the hue brightness. It's just simple. You can use it RGB values or um, hue saturation type of the values. So we can go either ways. So you can adjust, add new nodes, and create your own map presets. Okay, let's create them evenly spaced, or reverse if we need it. Okay, so right here, it's kind of straightforward, explains what we have it. When you're done, you can create and save your preset. The also, you can create um, custom garden. So you can use world garden applied or import from the color table. Okay, and if you use the import color table, you have options which one you want import and reuse. So next we have it colorized from the file where we can load it file and we can use it those colors to apply colorizations over our height map. Here, right here, we'll look on colorization, and we used before, and we'll use more often that colorization when you see it. Okay, next, we have it in converter. We'll look on the normal map maker, and this has become more and more required by almost all application when you're using. If you hit in blue or other ones, and this is provide for us the normal map output from the height um, from the high field input so let's open and look right here we have a basic encoding types so we can select uh, some will require for example if used high map and a filter for each other ones you need to flip some of the x or y so right here you can apply depend on what your applications is expected so this is again it's simple let's take a height field and convert to normal map Okay, next we have a splat converter. And this is actually very interesting because it is, will take a different amount of inputs and created a splat map based on the behavior that you selected. So this is kind of useful when you're creating for um, game engines. So you can set what splat you want to use it for your conversion from input of the high maps and you will produce splat map of the high field outputs. So you can convert them as well if you need it with colorizer in the future. Okay, and then next we also have channel splitter. So channel splitter will take a simple channel based on RGB or hue saturation. Right here it's as a bitmap. 
and it will output based what you selected currently it's huge durations and brightness or you can switch to RGB red green and blue according to your selection okay next we have it combiner it's to exactly um, similar to what we had before except this is combined from red green and blue or huge durations you will use those color separations based maybe on your um, value of the high field if you apply specifically on different colors for example if I go and set coloring red green and blue I can separate from different options and after combined have a different effects okay and next we have a light ma maker this will illuminate a light map for selected terrain that we put it in so we have a different type of animation direct or ray trace you can see right here is what we have it okay we also can include just the shadows for the map direct lighting or shadows and again this is lighting that we specify inside our extend to preview we can produce RGB map soft clipping global light direction as well we can modify our Sun altitude direction sky leveling and as well as diffuse lighting on the result you will have it mixed output and again this is um, produce I don't know create maybe a map for some rendering personally I'm not yet utilize or use this um, device and I'm looking forward to find good use for this as well and so right here we overview some of the converters that we have it in our world machine 